Hi, I'm Randy Garber, and it's an honor to represent the 62nd District in the Kansas House. Under the Capitol Dome here in Topeka, it is striking how often the first answer to our budget problems is to increase taxes on the people of Kansas. Yet as this video demonstrates the burden that governments at all levels place on families and businesses is already very high. Kansans work hard every day to create and nurture our unique way of life. The family paycheck is sacred. It's how families prosper and flourish. Taking money you earn and giving it to the government is serious business. Not long ago, certain liberal Republicans and Democrats tried pushing through the largest tax increase in state history. They were a single vote short until one lawmaker changed his mind. What happened next was stunning. So I'd like to change my vote and vote yes. The body is out of order. The body is out of order. Taking your money and giving it to government should never be a reason to celebrate. Working Kansans want to pay their fair share, but what does fair share mean? Are taxes ever fair? Did you know that a small group of Kansas wage earners pay nearly two-thirds of the state's income taxes? A much larger group, 40% of those filing taxes, account for 1% of total income tax revenue. Small businesses pay expenses and taxes that no one else pays, including higher property taxes, unemployment taxes, social security taxes for employees, and more. Several Kansas groups pay no sales taxes at all, amounting to billions of dollars. There may be good reasons for tax breaks, but we must strike the right balance. We need government to provide core services like education, security, and care for those who truly cannot care for themselves. But government needs to work better. There is too much waste. Shouldn't hardworking Kansans expect greater innovation, efficiency, and accountability before government takes more of your money? As your state representative, it is my responsibility to look for solutions such as tax reform or spending reductions that make our system more efficient and fairer for everyone, without increasing the overall burden on the people who are already footing the bill. With our economy showing signs of a real recovery and job growth on the uptick, we should not do anything that would undermine that growth. I will stand firm in fighting for Kansas families. I'm Randy Garber and I appreciate you watching.